think it was good. I didn't have an opportunity to do it. Um, on May 22nd, I attended a Tulsa City Historical Society meeting, and Steve Salmon gave a presentation on his dad, Major Otis Salmon's uh, uh, speech that he had given to the some club in Burton, I believe. Yeah. And um, Steve uh, typed a, or got a hold of a transcript of that, um, but explaining about the his years spent in the war and in captivity and uh, the death march of the Tom. He was one of the, I can't remember the number, 500, 400 and some out of 4,000 that were in that march. He was one of the 400 survivors. But um, it was a very interesting program. Somebody wants to watch it, it's on YouTube. It is. We have it on, so if you didn't make it, you can always go on there and watch it later. First, I attended the Lock and Keel ribbon cutting uh, down on 7th Street, and um, it's a nice addition to town. Um, and also that day, I had uh, an opportunity just to peek inside the senior center. And my compliments to the mayor um, that is going to be a fantastic facility for this community. If you haven't had an opportunity, to just go take a look. I, I, I was absolutely blown away with the space inside that building, and it's, it's going to be a, a very nice facility for this uh, and to get the senior citizens out of the, what was the pool bathhouse when I was growing up. Uh, You're that old? No. <laughs> um, so that, that concludes my, uh, my report. Um, my partners in Pride uh, for the month of June. Uh, I've selected uh, Chris Thornton and Mary Sheppel. They live at 73 Zurich Way. Um, and uh, uh, her home is uh, landscaped and uh, is very, very nice. So that is, that is who I have selected as my partner in Pride for June. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Uh, Ward 2, Julie Conner. That's the empty. 19th? Okay, I was going to say. With the rain. The rain, did, they did reschedule it. Okay. Um, I don't, so it's on oh, their Facebook it. page. Okay. So, more about that next month. Okay. That's all. All right. Ward 3, Philip Simpson. Yeah. Uh, I attended a police department fundraiser, Citizens Police Academy, and I had walking tacos that were delicious. And uh, Mayor uh, got me to go up in the lift to go up right next to the water tower. So I got to get up close. You didn't step off the ledge? No. I stayed latched on and prayed. <laughs> it's like I'm ready. Let's go down. So yeah. it was it was neat. Really neat to be given. You done a final inspection. I'll just make yes. sure the paint looked yep. good, no yep. no runs. I knew that. <laughs> All right, is that all, Philip? Yep. All right, Ward 3, Mr. Gary Morton. We've got a uh, Perry County Four. Recycling Four. Management District meeting we had back in the end of May. Uh, actually, this Saturday, June 10th, is the uh, River Sweep, sponsored by Aronsco or something, a five or six state area along the Ohio River. So it's 9 to 12 here at Sunset Park, Saturday morning. Uh, we are now uh, been able to locate a buyer for our used oil. We've been collecting oil for a while, but we've had to uh, find somebody to buy it from us. So we now have somebody buying it. Well, I, I didn't say that correctly. It was costing us money to get rid of it. Now we have a person buying it from us. Not a lot of money, but it's not costing us. So that's a win. We got some money coming in. 
and we sell uh, the container has 300 gallon in it, so it's quite a large amount. Uh, we're still working on bids up there uh, to try to concrete the area there in front of the dumpsters. That's always an area, particularly during the winter, during the rainy time. Uh, you get out of your car, you're stepping in sloshy, rocky, muddy stuff. So we're trying to, to fix that. Uh, of course, water is a problem. But that area tends to be like a bowl. Water runs kind of toward the middle of the area. And uh, drainage, we're hoping to get a tile of some kind in there to take the water away from that area. So it won't be running back right on our new concrete. So still getting bids on that and attempting to get that done at least, I'd say, before bad, before winter time. Uh, commodity costs. Uh, our commodities are, are up some now, uh, not greatly, but somewhat more than they were last year at this time. As far as non-payment, you know, we send out what, eight thousand mayors that are about nine thousand of these yeah. cards for people to send in their forty-five dollars, and I think we're only got about three hundred and fifty people who've chosen not to pay that. But uh, that's something that I've, I've been puzzled by since I've been a part of this organization is because they won't pay $45, but once it goes to small claim court, they'll pay two or $300. Mm -hmm. And I have a little problem understanding, I'll pay 300, but I won't pay 45. So that's, that's a new kind of math that I'm not familiar with. So, uh, so 350, and again, that, that could be reduced by now, some people may. Once they get that note, to, it's going to go to small claim. They may run in and pay it, but still over 300 people that say have not paid your $45. That's about all I have. All right. <clears throat> Councilman at Large, Mr. John Little. Okay. I had the opportunity to go by the pool a couple times this past week. It looks mm -hmm. fantastic. If everybody hasn't had a chance to go down and look at it, it really looks impressive. All the work that's been done down there really looks nice. Uh, I know I've seen driving through the alleys, people putting out their stuff, so hopefully we'll get some of the city cleaned up for that. Pat wasn't here to make a report, so I hope all that's going well as far as he, that goes. He was wore out today. Well, was sure. the first day. And he, <laughs> I'm sure he was. Don't Dumpster doubt, right? virus of the back to the mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And I also uh, saw that the uh, alleys between Fulton, uh, on Fulton Street between 6 and 7, there were those uh, you had that high center of the street where you couldn't come out of those alleys. It looks like that project is, if not completed now, it should be in a day or two because they were working on it last week. So yep. glad to see that done. See how that works, and if we need uh, to continue some of those in the future, we can see how this works out and go from there. Other than that, that's all I have, Mayor. All right. Thank you, John. Any statement from the city attorney or the clerk treasurer? I would, I would second uh, John's comments about the pool. I happened not to cast stones at other communities. I uh, happened to be driving through Boonville this past weekend. Um, there are pools right off of the highway. It doesn't compare to Tell Cities. I'll just leave it at that. We have quite a complex with our pool, and I really hope people re recognize that and use it. We've got a great pool. Okay. And then as far as mayor's reports goes, um, my partners in Pride, will be Furniture Row Apartments. They're on 7th and Humboldt. If you haven't been there, they are available to lease. Um, also want to welcome two new businesses to the community, Woodchucks and also Lock and Keel. Both are fantastic establishments. Um, I wish them the best. You all have mentioned the pool. Uh, we're very excited to have it open again. We had one little incident yesterday and it's been cleaned up. The pool is back open today as of 3 o'clock, so that's good. Lifeguards are probably they don't like it too much when I come out there because I'm always telling them that that's not clean, that's not, you know, need to wipe that. So I think they got tired of looking at me when I come out there. But they did a nice job. Uh, we're really glad to have them all. Uh, Larry did mention the um, William Tell Center. It is planned uh, for a grand opening ribbon cutting this June, the 23rd, at 11 o'clock. It will be an open house as well. That evening there will be a, a dinner that will be catered. Tickets will go on sale probably later, the first part of that week, if not middle of the week before, uh, for that. And it'll be, that's on a Friday night, much different than their Saturday typical dances. But 
they are going to have their typical activities and dances on Saturday night, you know, like the five, six dollars, whatever it costs to get in. Uh, the dinner will be a little bit more, obviously, but it's a fundraiser too for the center. Uh, so it'd be it'd be really nice. So, um, and like Philip said, we did climb up on the water tower. I actually stepped off the lift. Don't know if I smart or not, but I did. Uh, it's once you get up there, it's not that bad. It's that lift going up. Just being honest. It is a little bouncy. Um, uh, we want to definitely thank everybody involved in making that happen. Danny Bolin was the graphic designer. That was no cost to the city to design the, the apple and the script and the colors and everything. Uh, we want to make sure we thank him for that and, and those that painted it and Casey Electric for the lights on it. I've heard a lot of positive feedback. And it's amazing that I haven't heard much negative. And, you must have done something right. I don't know. It's kind of scary. Like, why are we waiting on? It's just around the corner. It's around the corner. Okay. But we're really, there's been a lot of people really happy about it. And I can't tell me people have told me, I've never noticed the water tower before. And so it's, like I said earlier in the meeting, it kind of sets the bar now for other communities. So it's nice to know we just one of the first to do something like that. So that's all I have in our mayor's report. We do. We have something good with the water, right? I'll, I'll post pictures in a, a drone footage later uh, this week if I get a chance on social media for everybody to see the, the beautiful view up there. So, uh, All right. If there's nothing else, uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion made by Larry. Is there a second? Seconded by Julie. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed?